Okay, so I need to go over uh, Luke uh, 21. And uh, um, Luke 21, 32, Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Now, I want to point out that there are two different things being stated about in this, in this particular verse. Um, so, um, let, me, let me go back. Sometimes in the scriptures, you see two different things happening at the same time. You see an answer for now and a prophecy for later. And here, what we're seeing is, if you read the text... It's, it starts out with um, uh, Jesus saying that not one stone will be left on the other. The fall of Jerusalem is going to happen. Now, let me explain this. He, he says that nation will rise up against nation. But, but, but let's go right between here. Eight. Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, claiming I am he, and the time is near. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and uprisings, do not be frightened. These things must happen first, but the end will not come right away. So now we contrast with the end will not come right away, and this generation will not pass away till all these happen, these things happen. So now we want to know well, what's right away, right away mean here. Now here's the here's what all these things happen has to do with. But before all this, you notice this words before all this. This is verse 12. He, 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 says, he says, nation will rise up against nation. There will be famines, pestilence, pestilence, and fearful events, and great signs from heaven. But before all this. First it says it will not come right away. Then it says, but before all this, they will seize you and persecute you. And now it's talking about two different events. It's talking about before this, you're going to be seized and persecuted. These are the things, by the way, that you're going to see all of these things happen. The things about being persecuted, um, before, brought before kings. Um, and so, do not be frightened. Uh, uh, I'll protect you if you believe in me, basically. And as you read down... When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by our army, you will know that Jerusalem's, its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. And now it talks about, now it's talking about the fall of the temple. But notice verse 24. Here's the crooks of the issue right here. They will fall by the sword, this is the people in Jerusalem, and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. They will be dispersed. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles. But this phrase here is what really knocks it out of the park. Until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. So when he says all these things are going to happen, the things that are going to be ha that, that, that he's the event that he's talking about is that the Jews are going to be kicked out of the temple. They're going to be kicked out of Jerusalem. Those Judaizing Jews who wanted to go to accept Jesus Christ or not accept Jesus Christ who were trying to prop up another Messiah. This is what happened at Tisha B'Av because Messiahs were coming in, his, in, in, in Christ's name. They were, trying to worship, they were trying to keep Jesus and the temple. They were trying to keep the law and keep Jesus at the same time. The, the temple was wiped away. And this phrase, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled... This is when the Jews rejected and the Gentiles accepted. This is what Paul was talking about in Romans. How he could grieve for his people being blind. That they should somehow be jealous of his people. And so that now the, the, the kingdom is being preached throughout the nations. And if we look at, is it First and Second Peter where it says, um, Do not think... Um, um, like that, that, that it seemed like when people, when these gospels were being written, it seems like it was slow in happening. It seemed like like like, um, like it wasn't happening right away, and uh, there was a delay. So so basically, the, the the scripture here says God is not willing that any should perish, but that all all my children that are going to come in after the gospels preached, me, you, anybody who's born afterwards. 
that gospel is going to go out until the closing up of the age, until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. God is not willing that any should pass, uh, pass away, but all, all his children that are going to come in, uh, as far as the nations. That's why it says, do not think God is slow in his coming. It's right before that in that verse. So we know that what's happening here is that we see right after this statement, the time of the Gentiles, then it starts to talk about the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth being shaken, the bodies of, of the heavens and the earths. We didn't see that happen at the time of the fall of Jerusalem. So it's not talking about that time. When he says down further in, what was it, verse 32, that, that uh, truly I tell you this generation will certainly not pass away until these things have happened. What things? Not this prophecy about after the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. It says this. These things will happen. You'll be kicked out of Jerusalem, and then the time of the Gentiles will start to be fulfilled. And so this is what was being parlayed here. And it's ambiguous speech because it's a parable. It says, he, he told them this parable. And when Jesus speaks in parables, it means that you need to be ever seeing and never, and never perceiving unless your eyes are opened up. So the way to really look at this verse is you've got to really kind of take it apart and see that there's prophecy in here that's talking about the fall of the temple, the Jews rejecting, and in the, the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled. Thank you very much.